In the workshop, a diabolical model steam engine, part 13, the first steam test. Running the engine using steam shows some quite serious problems that definitely need rectifying. Here's the boiler I'm going to use, it's a really good one, I like this one a lot. It's a gas fired fire tube boiler and it really does work well. The burner I use with it is a very small sievert gas torch burner head. It's not massively powerful, it has quite a thin long flame, but it generates more than enough steam in this boiler to do what I need it to do. And the other good thing is, it's quiet. Normally I would use the propane butane canisters, but in this one instead I'm using a large camping gas canister, this is butane. Because the burner does not consume too much gas, the rate of evaporation inside the gas cylinder is quite small. As you can clearly see in these clips, this canister is quite large. The gas valve is a commercial one, in a fitting that I made, and it's a 16mm thread which fits the camping gas cylinder perfectly. It's fitted with a steam grade silicone o-ring, and it is 100% gas tight. The next thing to do is to remove the safety valve to fill the boiler. And here I'm showing the funnel that I normally use. It has a 5 sixteenths by 32 thread on the end, but the hole in the boiler is much bigger than that, but it sits in there okay anyway. I haven't used this boiler for a long time, and I did leave it full of water, which is okay, because it lives in the house, and the house is never at freezing point. What I'm showing here is a very common problem. The ball on the inlet in the valve chest has stuck. I need to unstick it. How do I do that? I just wait a bit. I've filled the tank with water and this will eventually find its way to the ball on the seating and loosen it. Sometimes though you do have to tap the valve chamber with a small hammer. I should really insert a top tip time logo at this point because it would be a top tip for tapping the top of the pump's valve chamber. But that's too hard to say. In any case, the boiler is half full to start with, so I replaced the safety valve and didn't need to do anything else other than wait. Here I'm lighting the burner with my Proxon blowtorch. As you can see, the flame on this burner is not much bigger than the one on the small blowtorch, but it's very hot and it doesn't have the usual gas blowtorch roar. This was a bit of an experiment and it was successful. It heats the water very well in the spoiler. Over now to the machination of the devil, this diabolical steam engine. It's not quite so diabolical now, it's looking okay. As I've been running it on compressed air, I have noticed leaks around the steam chest cover and the steam chest. Also, the exhaust fitting is only fitted very shallowly to the two threads available in the cylinder block. This will need altering, but not yet. I'm going to do the steam test and show you some other problems, because I'm doing this voiceover the day after, so I know what the problems are, and I'll go through them one at a time. First, I remove the short length of steam pipe and fit one of these things on top of the valve chest. It's a very simple fitting to make, and I've made a few of them in different sizes. I'm going to connect the engine to the boiler with a piece of silicone rubber tubing, which I cut in half to accommodate this displacement lubricator, which is an item from microcosm-engine.com. It is of Chinese manufacture, very well made and very useful. It looks a bit like a piece of medical equipment, the idea being, because it's a glass tube, you can see the oil level, and later on, when I show the displacement lubricator, you will see how the water displaces the oil. I would never fit this unit to a model steam engine because I think it looks a bit silly, but it is very useful to me as part of a test rig. In the time it took me to fit this lubricator, the boiler has raised steam up to nearly 60 pounds per square inch. If you don't use a boiler for a while, it's quite important to check the safety valve. This one's okay, and as you can see, it's blowing off quite well. Time now for the steam test. Is it going to work? Oh dear, a technical failure. Sorry about that, it's not a technical failure, it's just me being silly. I'm rotating the engine by hand just to clear the condensate. I didn't need to really because the condensate is being cleared by all the leaks around the steam chest. These will need fixing as well as two more leaks that I really didn't expect. More about that later. I'm going to stop talking for a while 
so that you can watch and hear the steam test. I'll be back shortly to explain some of the problems that are going on. These problems are obvious. I'm attempting to tighten the bolts that hold the steam chest cover and the steam chest in place, but unfortunately only two of them have got any thread left. The steam is getting out of hand. I'm going to pipe it away so that you can see what's happening on screen. In this clip you can clearly see the benefit of using one of these excellent microcosm displacement lubricators. Drops of water condense in the lubricator and you can actually see one making its way to the bottom which displaces the oil because oil floats on water and the oil goes to the engine. Here's the other end of the exhaust pipe on my workshop floor, giving it a bit of a steam clean. Steam began to escape from each side of the gland chamber, and when I poked it with a screwdriver, there was a hole at each side. Now, I don't know why this is, but it does need addressing. I will live with it for now and stop talking again so you can watch the steam test. Although, I will be showing the holes in the gland chamber in more detail. This old basic engine works OK, but I'm calling a halt to this steam test because I need to fix the problems. There will be another test in a future episode. I've turned the gas off and it takes a while before the gas pressure drops in the pipe. But eventually all the steam disappears, apart from that that's coming out of the engine. And in this clip I'm showing the fact that the exhaust adapter dropped off. I need to do some more surgery on this. I know what I have to do and I'll show it in the next episode, or maybe even the next two episodes, depending on how difficult the job is. This is a very rare shot. It's a model steam engine and boiler sat on the bench, cooling. That's it from me. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website, and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.